Storm Daniel, which killed 15 people in Greece last week, swept across the Mediterranean Sea, causing two dams to burst just outside Derna. This was the city last month, and this is the aftermath. Floodwaters broke the banks of the river and smothered entire neighbourhoods in brown silt. Libya's people have survived conflict and violent extremism, but they weren't prepared for a natural catastrophe on this scale. The Sahara Desert, a place synonymous with scorching sun and endless sand dunes. Yet in early September 2024, something extraordinary happened. Heavy rains lashed down upon this arid expanse, defying all expectations. The result? A temporary but dramatic transformation. Vast stretches of the Sahara, particularly in Morocco and Algeria, witnessed the emergence of sparkling lakes and meandering rivers. This unexpected deluge captivated the world, offering a glimpse of the Sahara's hidden potential for change. This wasn't just a light drizzle, the downpours were substantial, turning dry riverbeds into raging torrents and carving new pathways through the sandy landscape. The sudden appearance of water brought life to the desert, with dormant seeds sprouting and animals gathering around the newfound oases. However, this dramatic shift was not permanent. The Sahara, for now, remained a desert. But the events of 2024 served as a stark reminder of the power of nature and the fleeting beauty of these desert blooms. The Sahara's recent transformation might seem shocking, but history tells a different story. The Sahara hasn't always been the parched expanse we know today. In fact, it has experienced dramatic climate shifts over millennia, oscillating between periods of aridity and surprising fertility. During the last ice age, the Sahara was even larger than it is today. This was due to colder temperatures that locked moisture away in ice sheets and altered global rainfall patterns. However, around 12,500 years ago, a warming trend began. This warming coincided with rising sea levels and a wetter Sahara, suggesting a dramatic shift in climate. Evidence suggests that around 4,000 years ago, the Sahara was a much greener place. Imagine a landscape dotted with grasslands, acacia trees and watering holes frequented by a variety of animals. This period, known as the Green Sahara, or the African Humid Period, paints a starkly different picture from the desert we know today. The key to understanding these dramatic shifts lies in the movement of the Intertropical Convergence Zone, or ITCZ. This low-pressure band, characterized by converging trade winds and heavy rainfall, plays a crucial role in shaping rainfall patterns across the tropics. Over thousands of years, the ITCZ has migrated north and south, influencing the duration and intensity of wet and dry seasons across the Sahara. While the Sahara's history is marked by periods of greater rainfall, the events of 2024 were particularly dramatic. This was due in part to a powerful cyclone that swept across North Africa. This cyclone, a rarity for the region, brought with it an unexpected deluge. Tunisia and Libya, typically arid regions, found themselves on the receiving end of torrential downpours. The impact was immediately visible. NASA satellites captured stunning images of normally dry riverbeds transformed into rushing torrents. The scale of the rainfall was unprecedented. In some areas of the Sahara, over eight inches of rain fell in a short period. To put that into perspective, Seattle, known for its rainy climate, receives an average of around 40 inches of rain annually. This sudden influx of water had a profound impact on the Sahara's landscape. Ephemeral lakes, temporary bodies of water that appear after heavy rains, sprung to life, their surfaces reflecting the sky like scattered mirrors. One such lake, located in northern Algeria, expanded by an astonishing 70 square miles and reached depths of seven feet, a testament to the sheer volume of water that fell from the sky. The sudden appearance of ephemeral lakes across the Sahara is a testament to the unique characteristics of this arid environment. Unlike regions with denser vegetation, the Sahara's parched soil has a limited capacity to absorb water. When heavy rains occur, the water doesn't easily seep into the ground. Instead, it flows over the surface, collecting in low-lying areas and forming these temporary bodies of water. These ephemeral lakes, while fleeting, are vital to the Sahara's ecosystem. They provide a crucial source of water for wildlife. 
attracting animals from miles around. Birds, especially migratory species, depend on these temporary oases for sustenance and respite during their long journeys. The lakes also support a burst of plant life, with dormant seeds germinating in the damp soil, creating a temporary carpet of green across the desert floor. One notable example of an ephemeral lake is Lake Yasmina, located near Mohammed El Ghislan in Morocco. This lake, typically dry for most of the year, transforms into a shimmering expanse of water following heavy rains. Lake Yasmina and others like it serve as stark reminders of the Sahara's capacity for change and the delicate balance that governs life in this extreme environment. The heavy rains of 2024 were particularly significant given the region's recent history. Prior to the cyclone, the Sahara had been in the grip of a prolonged drought. In fact, the region had endured six consecutive years of below-average rainfall, leading to water shortages and impacting the livelihoods of communities that depend on this precious resource. The drought had taken its toll, exacerbating desertification and pushing the limits of resilience for both people and ecosystems. The 2024 rains, therefore, came as a welcome respite, replenishing depleted water sources and offering a glimmer of hope. Analysis of rainfall patterns revealed that the 2024 events were not isolated incidents. Hundreds of storms had contributed to filling the ephemeral lakes over the past two decades. However, two specific storms, including the 2024 cyclone, were responsible for the most significant increases in water levels, highlighting the impact of extreme weather events in this delicate ecosystem. The ITCC shifts, a harbinger of change. The dramatic rainfall in the Sahara, while welcomed by some, also raises concerns about the future. Scientists believe that the northward shift of the intertropical convergence zone, a pattern linked to climate change, is likely to bring more rainfall to the Sahara in the coming years. This shift could have profound implications for the region. Increased rainfall could lead to the greening of some parts of the Sahara, uh, potentially opening up new areas for agriculture and supporting larger populations. However, this shift also presents significant challenges. The Sahara's infrastructure, designed for an arid environment, is ill-equipped to handle such dramatic increases in rainfall. Oasis or Mirage, the uncertain future of water. The unexpected floods in Morocco in 2024, which tragically claimed the lives of at least 18 people, serve as a stark reminder of the potential dangers of increased rainfall in the region. Flash floods, triggered by heavy downpours in areas with limited drainage, can be particularly devastating. The northward shift of the ITCZ could lead to more frequent and intense rainfall events, increasing the risk of flooding in vulnerable areas. This raises important questions about water management in the region. How can countries prepare for both too little and too much water? Investing in early warning systems for flash floods is crucial. Building resilient infrastructure that can withstand extreme weather events will be essential, and perhaps most importantly, promoting sustainable land management practices that enhance water absorption and reduce runoff will be vital for mitigating the risks associated with a wetter Sahara. Beyond the dunes, the Sahara's global reach. The Sahara Desert, often viewed as an isolated and desolate expanse, plays a surprisingly crucial role in the global ecosystem. Despite its harsh conditions, the Sahara acts as a major carbon sink, absorbing and storing significant amounts of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Scientists estimate that the Sahara stores an astonishing one trillion metric tons of carbon, highlighting its importance in regulating the global climate. But the Sahara's influence extends far beyond its boundaries. The dust that blows from the Sahara, carried by wind currents across the Atlantic Ocean, plays a crucial role in fertilizing the Amazon rainforest. This dust, rich in minerals like phosphorus, provides essential nutrients that support the lush vegetation of this vital ecosystem. The Sahara, therefore, is not just a desert, it's a vital component of a complex global system. A delicate balance preserving the Sahara's legacy. The recent transformations in the Sahara Desert, while captivating, serve as a stark reminder of the delicate balance that governs this unique ecosystem. 
As the climate continues to change, the Sahara is likely to experience more frequent and intense swings between drought and deluge. Understanding these changes and their potential impacts is crucial for protecting the Sahara's fragile ecosystem and the communities that call it home. Preserving the Sahara's legacy requires a multifaceted approach. Investing in scientific research to better understand the drivers of climate change and its impact on the region is essential. Promoting sustainable land management practices that prevent desertification and enhance water conservation is crucial. And perhaps most importantly, fostering international collaboration to address the global challenges of climate change is paramount. The Sahara's future, like the future of our planet, depends on our collective action. Ancient artists drew pictures of their surroundings and the animals they encountered during the African humid period. These drawings on rocks and cave walls were discovered throughout the Sahara Desert and even in Saudi Arabia. They are as old as 12,000 years. Geological traces of a vast lake in Chad contain fossils of fish, hippos, and crocodiles. Are we heading toward a new humid period and a green Sahara? Please leave a comment and share your opinion. Thank you for watching.